Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to the Talus Principle 2 tonight. Had a pretty good thing going last time, I think. We finished off that one entire section and got a start on the next. I don't remember if we had eyes on any of the stars or any of the lost ones, any of the lost puzzles in this next upcoming section. Here. I, don't, I don't think so. Oh, maybe we did, actually. What do we have here? Um, yeah, we did one of the lost ones. That's right. We, uh, we ended on that, I think. Um, and then I think the lab is marked on our compass or whatever, so I think Melville was like, yeah, go check this out. And we're like, yeah, okay, well, eventually. Um, so six normal puzzles, a lost thing, the two stars, um, and then the tower, of course. Um, I think this is the lost one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, right, because this is a big, like, deserty area that doesn't, uh, doesn't really hide things very well, does it? Um, and then I think the new bit here was the rotating platforms, which are not terribly exciting, but, uh, you know, they're, they're a thing. Um, so let's, let's, let's check it out. Let's, ro let's roam the perimeter a bit here and see if we can find any other hidden goodies. Because uh, when everything is barren and lifeless here, it's like the, the things that stand out are, are pretty clear. Um, like, hey, one of these things over here. Some more maunderings of Stratton, right? The world we yeah. see around us may not always be as it appears. Some philosophers have said that we are surrounded by nothing. I mean, yeah. Merely because <laughs> air is not visible to the eye. I mean, well. And yet one needs only to observe the wind in the trees. It's because it's invisible. Or one's hand into Doesn't the mean it's not there, right? The Aegean, to see that air has material substance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The same applies to many other forces that shape our lives. Many other forces. That they seem invisible does not mean that they are absent. Right. It only right. means we have not yet learned how to observe them. True and enough, yet, I suppose. Lately, I have struggled mm. to understand what I am seeing. This strange, insubstantial island. These machine men. This woman with a fierce voice like an Amazon. Who are they? How did I get here? No, oh, it's a good ass question. But uh, whilst he was uh, bandying on about something there, we found the, the Pandora thing. Um, it's red instead of green. I think all the previous ones have been green. So, a bit simpler, perhaps. Keep an eye out for lasers what which we can shoot out of puzzles, right? Um, and it seems like it might be close enough to something where we don't need to relay it, but we'll keep an eye out for relays just in case as well. Closest one would be this one over here, right? Um, which, in fact, might appear to be the other lost puzzle. Oh, maybe not. It is big. It's very large, whatever enclosure this is. It might be number three, in fact. Um, and then we've got another question mark over here, which uh, looks too big to just be a hand glowy bit. Maybe this is the other lost puzzle. Yep. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, get that knocked out right away, I suppose. Transfer. All right, we got red laser. Switch. Oh, I see. Okay. And some gravity plates and shit, which means we'll have the little gravity shooter thing, right? Well, here's the normal laser bit. Um, and then here's uh, the red input. Okay, okay. Um, what else do we have to work with here? Oh, it's a normal ass fan and another laser bit. Mm. Well, which we can't really do much with. Because we can't take it out of this area. Well, yet. Okay, and there's the gravity shooter bit over there. Uh, okay, looks like we can't really... Well, you know, we'll, we'll take it down from its perch. Um, 
And then the red source is there. I'd like to get over there to get to the little gravity shooter. Um, we need, we would need both, both things. We need both laser things, I think, to get it. And in fact, well, actually, wait. Let's see here. Let's um. Perhaps we can do this because the red source is all the way over there. But we might just be able to do this and do like maybe just over here. Maybe we can get enough of an angle on this to get the red thing satisfied there. There we go. Like that. And that gives us the gravity shooter. And that's about it. Okay. So now I've got a pretty good idea on what I need to do here. Let's take the gravity shooter it over here temporarily and I'm thinking I need okay I'm gonna do a little pre-work here I'm gonna set this over here because I'm gonna need this to be open so I can walk past it right and I'm gonna need the other laser to probably be up there so let's do this quickly, I'm going to grab, well, no, I'm going to set up the gravity bit first to right there. Oh, that's too far over. Um, to right there. Oh, well, oh, I need to set it a little bit lower, like dead center, but a little bit lower, like right there. Okay, I think we can get the other laser bit into that gravity field. Hey, Omega, how are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, I just need to... Uh, what do I need to do here? I just need to take this without disconnecting it. And uh, can I just kind of drop it there? There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Now that's where we need it to be. Done with this area, I think. Um, then... We can take this off. It's anchored now there. Let's put it here. And then move that across, right? Zorp. Zorp. There we go. Easy. Um, so now that's opened up. Uh, and I think that's it, probably. Now we can just go back there and... Oh, here. Uh, move this back a little bit more. There we go. Now I can go back there, and we've got red laser there, so now we just need to connect this up here. There we go. That was pretty easy. That one was pretty easy to think through, actually. Not a whole lot of elements to that, and we understood the, the gravity bits pretty well. But okay, um, is this close enough? Do we have eyes on the Pandora red laser thing from here? I would imagine not. This is, like, pretty far away. And I don't even remember which direction it was now. Oh, that's hard to kind of pick the right angle to look at. So let's, um... We might potentially have a red laser out of here, right? Um, in fact, let's grab this quickly and just do a, a quickie scan of, like, points of interest to see if there's a, a hidden relay or whatever. I mean, I guess there couldn't be, because there was no lines pointing to it, right? So, you know, never mind. I'll just keep that there for now. Because there was no, like, helpful guided dotted line going into the Pandora bit. Being like, hey, there's a relay between here and there. No, there was nothing like that. And it's all the way the fuck over there, so it's Definitely wouldn't be able to target it. Okay. Um, so this one's probably not useful. I, I found, like, the hidden bits are not... Seems like they're never used in the in the external laser shooty bits for the Pandora stars. Hmm. Alright, one down. Oh, and there's a new social media thing. Alright, what do we got? What do you see? I see a maze. 
Uh, a person trapped in a maze desperately looking for a way out. Well, it's, it's desperately is being assumed there. Someone greeting their friend, happy to be living in a beautiful place. Uh, sure? Sure. Um, ancient human calling someone on a phone. <laughs> Uh, nothing? <laughs> All right, Pellegrino was- wasn't Pellegrino the one that almost died because of a bucket or something? Yeah, them saying nothing kind of tracks. Um, I, it's uh, a guy shooting laser beams from his eyes. I do like that. Eyeball inside of a giant robot? Okay, I could see that too. Um, I don't- I mean, the the one I agree with most of, the, like, the prefabs here is probably Arinia. Um, except I don't agree with the desperately part. Um, it's a frog. It's a French... <laughs> it's Orson Welles! Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no. This is a safe space. Don't you be bringing that in here. Come on. Come on, man. How dare you? Um, I do like the laser beam shooty from the eyes. I like that answer. I like that answer a lot, in fact. Um, I don't know how we would suss that out from what is almost certainly a maze, but the guy shooting laser beams from his eyes. Sure. Hell yeah. Let's get absurd here. Oh, of course Pellegrino would agree with me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, mm. I do like it's a silly answer, but I do like that. That was fun. All right, uh, so that was the last lost puzzles. Number, th I guess we'll go back to number three, because this one is closer to the the Pandora laser thing. And if we can like get that squared pretty much immediately, that would be nice too. Um, because the receptacle for that is just over there. That's, yeah, that's well within visual range. Let's see if there's a red laser for us to use here. Dismantling. Um, saw a box. And a little upper bit. And that doesn't look like anything new. Uh, wow. Really? Just a box, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, and a button. A box and a button. What does that do? Ah, I see. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and a teleport. Okay. Uh, and what appears to be a cable leading somewhere else. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. And another button, which I imagine is that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And then, does that bring it back? Yeah, it does. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, I imagine we'll need to go over there, so let's go ahead and extend that. Once it gets over there, I imagine it powers down, yeah? Ah. <laughs> okay, I don't think we can... Probably can't cheese that one out. But, I also imagine we need that box up there. So, I'm gonna do this. Grab that teleport. So that we can use it to bring the box up, right? Just put it at the edge here. Sir. Oh, but then that needs to be there. Okay. Alright, so I need to put it not on the movie platform, right? Like right... Uh, I guess just right here, right? So then we take the box off. Yep, and then we can go up there. Alright, so now we got a box. Um, now, I can put the teleport on the platform go across and then there's I see there's another box there um, that's fun yeah that's fun um, yeah I guess that's fun oh I see now I need to go like this and take this down as well because I'm gonna need to get back on the other side in order to do such a thing, we need both the box and the teleporter. Alright, let's take that up, that up, put that on the edge there. 
and then pip. Boop. And what well, I don't I don't what's that one gonna do? Uh oh I see. Okay. Um Okay, yep, now I've got access to the teleporter again. Uh Huh. How is this going to work? I think... Okay, I think I need to keep this box down there. Because I'm going to need to come back up. But I also then need to put the teleporter back over there. And then we'll have this other box here for the other... Um, uh, for the other switch. For the other button. So, let's do that. Uh, I think the platform then is back over, right? Uh, so let's go over there. Put this on the moving platform bit. Uh, actually at the edge of it, probably. Because then when we jump back down, use the box that we cleverly prepared for ourselves here. Do that. And then move this other box to this other switch. And then once that moves over, we can go ahead and do... Zerp. And then we're here. Okay. Um, good. No red laser, though. So this is not the source we need for the Pandora laser thing. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, that's fine. Uh, that means that there's probably a relay point somewhere then. Or, like a hidden a hidden laser bit from something that we're not seeing. Uh, that we've not seen yet. Ooh, that's a long way down. Oh, and then there's the other, uh... Oh, no, maybe that's not the other, um, star thing. It is not. Uh, I wonder if we get a good running start, if we could just huck our butts up to the top there right away and just, uh, just go with it. Probably not. I imagine they would have thought to not let us do that. Um, but okay, what do we ha- Oh, wow, that's a hell of a fall. I don't want to go down there yet. Maybe? Hmm. It's probably the second half of the puzzles, though, or something, right? Well, let's go over here. Oh, okay, so we've got a, a Sphinx thing for the second star. Oh, and who is this? Melville? Melville? What's what's up? Did something break? Uh, n no? I don't think so. Well, what do you think about Miranda creating life, though? Personally? I'd focus on creating things that help human beings. Mm -hmm. But her desire to spread life seems admirable to me. If most okay, of the universe sure. is dead, not doing anything with all that space seems like a waste. Very pragmatic, yeah. I, I, it's not, I, can, I can see that. But I'll get back to work. There's more puzzles to do. And also a Sphinx thing. Uh, oh dear. Ah, it's another Switch thing, huh? Okay. Just be a matter of finding where the f these things are located then. It would really be helpful if they indicated which way was north. So I could just use my damn compass, but no, can't do that. Uh, alright. Well, there's one down in the thing, and then there's two out here. Reasonable enough, I guess. Because that one over there looks like it might be... Where are we? We're north of the big tower, right? So we're like right here, probably. So let's see. There's another bit all the way the fuck over there. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, that one's probably the one over there. And then this one I have. This one's probably on the other side of four. Although that's not symmetric, is it? Okay, this might be puzzle four here. And then we have to go all the way... Uh, 
west. Westish over there for the other switches. Okay. Well, we can we can look at that in a bit. See, that one's pretty easy to interpret. We already figured out his switches. Um, wasn't a weird block puzzle that we have to find or whatever. It's just kind of there waiting for us to do it. So we can take care of that later, no problem. Okay, control. We got some buttons. We got some lasers. A little laser bit here, a tunnely bit. Red source is over there, blue source is there. Oh, and another simple laser. Okay, red source. Oh no, it's a rotating bit. Um. <laughs> well, we can get the second laser bit here pretty easily. I don't know if we really want to do that just yet. Um. Well, I mean, we really don't need to do that, do we? Can we just, uh, all right, do that. Just kind of pass it through like this. Oh, no, we will need both of them. Ah, and then there's a tunnely bit here. Okay. Uh, where's the, where's the tunnely bit itself, though? And that's a blue one for the final bit, so, okay. Where did I see that tunnely thing? Ah, it's there. We need red. Okay. We need red, uh, but if we take that one off of blue, it's going to close that thing. What do we need to make this one stay open? That's not red, right? Is it? It is. How interesting. But it's controlled by the tunnely bit thing. Okay, I think I see what's going on. We need like that, so then we can go like that, and then when it swaps over, it stays. Nice. Okay. And then that gives us access to the tunnely bit thing. Um, gives us access to blue, and then we need the switch doing its thing there. Okay, um, can we, we can take this one, right? And now, now we're gonna have to do some, some things here. Uh, as soon as we turn that off, that rotates around again, right? And it cuts this off, but we just need blue. We just really need blue. And, well, hmm. Actually, what do I need here? Because I don't know if the tunnely bit is going to be important once this rotates back. Can we do this in one? It almost seems like we would have to. To keep this thing rotated, to keep this, you know, open hole ready. Haha. -ha. Um. Oops. Yeah, I don't need that. Stop. Okay. Uh, let's reset that for now. Because what would I need to do? I would need... Well, firstly, I need probably that not to be blazing a trail across the path here. So let's reset this up to be... Not that. Then we can quickly reset that. Do that, do that, do that. I'll probably put it right there. Just to give it some more space to work with. Okay. All right, and now we've got blue. Now we've got access to blue, because if we take that off, it rotates back here, and it puts the, the tunnelable wall of this thing here, which does not help at all, in fact. Um, so, what I need then is... <clears throat> I need both laser things on this side. Oh, but I also need this to stay open. How the hell is that gonna happen? What's this button? Ah. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. 
I see. I need a tunnely bit on this side, holding open that hole there. Uh, can I do that just pretty easily? Yeah, just go like this. Because then this holds open the thing, and it does the, the thing there, right? Easy. Okay. Then, I need... Uh, hmm. yeah, how is that going to work? Because I can set this up such that we just need blip, bloop, blip, like that. But then something needs to hold open this. Something needs to hold down that button. Um, well, I can just do it like this, actually. Let me borrow this for a second. Because I can just move this back. Uh, let me borrow this. Put that right about there. Back this up to about right there. And then once it turns back, we can grab this one again and use it for the blue. Flip, flip, flip. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've got both red and blue. Do we have line of sight to the Pandora thing? any of this. Because I think... Well, let me step outside this one for a bit. I think that... Is that one over there? That one's the Sphinx one? Yeah. I think the Pandora one is way too far away for this, so... Any relays on the outside of this that we can use? I'm rather doubting... So here. Yeah, no. Alright, and then this was the weirdo, like whatever. Uh where is this path just leading off to? Oh, this is probably the lab. It's got a thing marked plus a question mark, which is probably a glowy hand bit. There are entirely too many strikes. Or just a Melville voice clip, here. that's cool too. Hmm. Oh, very interesting. Stand in the strange anomaly. <laughs> okay, and then the actual lab bit, which somebody uh, marked out for us. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, good faith. Uh, faith in choice of submission. Perhaps faith is a demand for our pain to have meaning for the stories of our world to rhyme. A world des designed by a loving hand. I believe the defiance and the forgiveness also. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so that's a poem. It's a poem about faith. Uh, okay, cool, I guess. The Noma Project, more, 5358. Unauthorized trial at secondary sec- Who the- well, who the fuck would be doing it? Like, only- we only got Athena and Cornelius and Miranda out here, right? Uh oh something bad happened, though. Catastrophic failure, she's gone. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Is that why they're all ghosty and shit now? Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, oh good, another overload. Hopefully we don't end up like Byron. But we're not gonna, because we're stronger. It's we're stronger over. than Byron. We failed. Oh. Everything we thought we were doing. It's all ashes now. I don't think you really believe that. She's gone. Oh, Cornelius. Miranda was the one that's she's gone. She's gone because I failed her. Oof. Uh, she's gone because the machine that I built killed her. She was perfect. Mm. And now, she's nothing. I know you don't want to hear this. I know you want her to be perfect, to be blameless. But you didn't kill her, Athena. And she killed herself. She did she the whole because she unauthorized bit, right? Because she was naive. Uh, and frankly, because she was a little arrogant, too. She was reckless because I filled her head with dreams. Oh, boy. Dreams of the future. 
of a better world. A world that nobody wants. No, no, it's not the dreams that killed her. It's that we Oops. I didn't mean to pause that. Sorry. Brought her here. It's that we tried to build all this oh, interesting. outside the city. I didn't notice before. We they are without people, without society. Of slightly different the designs here. Is for profits, Athena. Not for children. We should have stayed. Fought for our ideas. It's too late now. It's too late. Hmm. Well, that's a big fucking bummer. Hmm. Rot row. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't be out here. <laughs> Maybe we should go back to the city. Uh, are the puzzles worth this? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Yaku, you didn't see any of that, right? Oh, crap. They lost their daughter. Ah, he saw it. Right here in this ruin, Cornelius and Athena lost their daughter. Miranda's dead. Yeah, so I, I, I was watching it. I was there. Control over this technology. Even the founder makes mistakes. Uh -huh. Byron was right in a way. Um, the founder let's not go too far. Was. <laughs> she was never perfect. She was never infallible. No one is. I don't... Listen, wait, what? I understand why you and Byron see so much hope in this technology. You want us to be better. Hell yeah, being better is great. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But what if it all goes wrong? Oh, what if, you know? If even the founder couldn't get it right... What hope do we have? What hope do we have? Yeah, I got it! <laughs> Yakut, man, we cannot be afraid of all this shit, all right? Um, nothing's forcing us to re repeat the mistakes. I like it. I like it. Um, risk of the megastructure concerned me. That's why we need to know more. Also true. Mistakes will happen, but bad things happen no matter what we do. Also true. Um, you're right. This technology could destroy us or the whole planet. I mean, technically true. Um, however, that's the bad answer. So no. Uh. Mistakes will happen. Bad things will happen no matter what we do. But what if one mistake is enough? One mistake was enough to kill Miranda. And the energy readings from inside the megastructure are insane. <clears throat> what if we try to use it and blow a hole in the planet? Let me tell you about how many close shaves humanity has had with nuclear technology. <laughs> Don't ever read about that if you want to be happy. Because that is some depressing shit to read. Very scary, very scary stuff. Um, that's catastrophist thinking, yes, true. Uh, people only ever have those phobias about new things. No, that's not true. People have phobias about everything. But all our established technologies have their dangers, yeah, true enough, true enough. Uh, if we only ever considered the worst case scenario, we'd do nothing and then still die, also true. Universe is inherently dangerous, a major natural disaster is always coming our way, also true. Um, you need to have a little faith in our species. Uh, mostly true. Uh, that's what precautions are for. We can do things carefully. Yeah, true. Uh, the planet will be fine in the long run. Well, yeah, I... Yeah, that's true. The planet doesn't give a shit about us. Um, you're right. This technology could be too much for us. I'll, also technically true, but the bad answer, so no. Um... I like this. I like the hard truth here. If we only ever considered the worst case scenario, we'd do nothing and then still die. What if this time it's just a Oh, what if, you could? What if the megastructure really is just a catastrophe waiting to happen? Yeah? Then what are you doing out here? Um, uh, what if this type of thinking is what leads us to catastrophe? Because you can't imagine another outcome. I, don't really I like that. Really rub it in his face. The world very rarely works that way. It's always more nuanced. Also true. There's always a worst case scenario. Preparing for it is rational. Obsessing over it is not. Ooh, I do like that one. Maybe you need to have a little more faith, like, no, no, let's not do that one. Um... Yeah, I, I like the rationality argument here. There's always a worst case. 
I do tend to get a bit obsessive. All right. Well, and you're right. Uh -huh. Nothing's really safe. Unless we choose to be sane. We don't need the mega structure to destroy ourselves. Hell yeah, we can do that ourselves. Anyway, <laughs> talking to me. No problem, Yakut. The truth is... Don't worry about lately, it. I sometimes feel kind of... Scared? Lost. Ah, well, lost is good too. The universe is vast and threatening. Hell yeah, it is. History is depressing. Hell yeah, it is. I need something to hold on to. Oh yeah, that's, that's fair. Something that's other fair. than fear. Yes, that's a good, that's a good perspective. what that is. Good perspective, Yakut. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Good good talk, you dude. Good talk. Um, all right. Well, it's a bummer that Miranda's probably for sure dead. The elevator. I'm sorry about Miranda. I know you're looking forward to meeting her. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how that shit goes. What, what was that about an elevator? Oh, was that the probably the the way to get into the um, the little the, the hole there without probably the game saying like no that's too far fall damage eat ass type shit. Um, that's probably what it was honestly. And we did the first half of the puzzles right. We did one through four. That was the deal. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Uh. So, kind of lost track of where I was now. I think this. I think the little travel bit is the thing up here at the top. So then we just need to look to the left and then to the left again for the two Sphinx switches on the outside here. So let's go over here. Um, should be on the far side. Next to some little outcropping, right? Hmm. Why is this like this? This isn't like a puzzle. This is just a normal you know, structure. Right? Wait, what's down there? Did we go in here? Oh, it's the gate. Boo! Alright. I can't wait. Wait, oh, hold on a second. Did I not eyeball that right? Let's way the fuck out of there. Uh, okay, so here's the the gate itself, right? And then there's the structure. Oh, maybe that's the wrong one. Is that not the one we're we're looking at there? This might be one that's not on the map or on the engraving or whatever. That might be it there. Oh, what's this? Um, there's another weird, like, purple haze field down there. Uh, strange. Okay. Let's see if we can get up there and check it out. Here. There. Ah! Neat. Oh, it's actually like a little... Well, not a Sphinx necessarily, but that's pretty cool. It's a reference to maybe Tales Principle One, perhaps. But okay, well, let's just get up here and and jump to different spots. Let us do anything else with that? No, look like it. Okay. And if this was actually the thing, wouldn't it be, be kind of like out here, right? There's not really any <clears throat> offshoots to this thing here. This looks more perhaps like the thing. Yeah, it's more kind of directly east. No, west. <laughs> more directly west of the thing. That's probably what this is over here. Here we go. Yep. There we go. There's the switch there, which means 
to the left, and then kind of far side of this structure here. free like little puzzle spark thing. Let's see how many we can get without using them. It's kind of goes directly on the other side. Was it? Oh yeah, it's kind of over here-ish. Ah, there it is. Honk. All right, that's the two that are out here, and then the third one is down in the canyon there. Oh, sorry, Firetron. I didn't see you slip in there, like, super early. My apologies. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, yeah, I think we've been pretty good about not using the, 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 the cheaty skip this puzzle bits, because, like, no, why would we skip these puzzle bits? Um, all right. So based on where we are, then, the last one would be pretty much dead... Well, not dead center, but near the center structure on the right side, probably. Um, probably over there-ish, right? Yeah. Uh, I am, however, curious if I can make this jump. Because what's the worst that could happen? Like, they'll, they'll checkpoint us back to the switch we just flipped? Whee! Oh, oh, they don't have collision on that. Come on. Boo. <laughs> oh. Well, damn it. Where did it put us back? Why did it put us back at the lab? Come on. Oh, shit. Does that mean we didn't actually flip those switches then? Ah, may as well check. Boo. Come on. I mean, I know that was kind of a cheeky play, but I feel like we should have gotten something better than just jumping into the void. Well, we know where they are, right? We know where the switches are, so it's not a big deal to, to go back and, and do it again. I'm hoping it, it didn't. I hoping, I'm hoping it saved it. Ah, it did. Okay, that one's still on, which means that one's still on. Uh, probably. Um, so then there's just the last one down there. Okay, so Melville was saying something about, oh, hey, the elevator's working now. Uh, so instead of jumping to our presumed deaths like a dummy, um, we should find where the elevator is. Which I imagine is probably around here somewhere. One of the cardinal directions. East, perhaps? Or, oh, may, it might be near the um, the travel bit, too. There might have been a path, like, closer to this structure that I immediately ignored and ran off into the desert. Or I could just follow these, too, and then probably lead me to it. Oh, uh, Melville's got more to say. What's up, Melville? Did something break? N no? Why do you... Uh, okay, what do you think caused Miranda's death? From examining the data, I think it simply came down to not taking enough precautions. Mm. Clearly, protocols existed that would prevent such accidents, but she didn't apply them. That's a technical answer. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for something more philosophical... I am not. I think it's easy to mistake insight for revelation. She thought she was meant to discover something. Okay, as yeah. As if there was some force yeah, yeah. guiding her. And so she discounted the outcome. Uh, yeah, that's probably more accurate. Thank you, Melville. We'll get back to work. Um, yeah, I could follow the the pointer bits to the whatever. Uh, did we check this out already over here? What was this? Oh, was this the the, the Stratton bit probably over here? Yeah. 
Because then there's still the question of which thing we need to point outside for the red laser thing for the Pandora laser. <clears throat> which uh, is presently unsolved. There's kind of, it's leaving me very few options with this, really. Because, like, this is the only puzzle that's close enough. But there were no laser bits in that one. Makes me a little suspicious. But that's alright. We can do the, the, the back half of the normal puzzles while we think about that. If we can find whatever elevator it is that takes us down there. Ah, it's probably in that structure there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's where the arch is, at the very least? Or the portal thing? Maybe there's another elevator down through here? Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Whee! Okay. Uh, with that in mind, then, where do we... Because the travel bit was that away, so we're looking at this from the north. Or from the top, rather, so it'll be on the right side. Back right corner, from where we're perspective here. Back right corner of the main square bit. Oh, hey, a uh, hand glowy thing. Ignoring error seems... Oh, good, another Trevor voice clip. Can't wait. Um, extinction. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Is this the list of all of the species that humans have caused to be extinct? Uh, probably. Dodo, Sea Cow, Labrador Duck, Rocky Mountain Locust, Thylacine, Deepwater Cisco, Golden Tope. I haven't heard of, like, half of these, but that's probably, you know, appropriate in and of itself, right? Um, hmm. Boy, that sucks. <laughs> That's real bad. Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> I think it's the natural extinction less tragic. Should we be less opposed to it? Where's the difference if there is one at all? I mean. Oh, okay. So the golden toted we actually did do. Uh. Yeah. Oh, the white, yeah, the white rhino. I do, I do know about that one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, orangutans are still around, right? They didn't go extinct yet. Uh, yet. Right? Oh. Yikes. All right, well, let's listen to goof-ass Trevor here. Surely he's got something insightful to say. Man, this sucks. Not a good start, Trevor. Hearing about the... <laughs> Symptoms, it is another ah, here we go. holy to experience them. I feel like an insect trapped in resin, slowly congealing. I, I can keep working for a while, though. <coughs> mm. um, there's still a bunch of critical tasks. I, I, I don't know what I'll do when I'm done. Um, uh, relax. A lot of people have gone home, but Alexandra's still Maybe. here. I don't think she's left even once, not even when her best friend died. Uh, we chatted a bit yesterday. She likes peanut ice cream. Not 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 pistachio. Oh, peanut. All right. What's wrong? Well, hey. We can agree that strawberry is an abomination. Hey, wait a minute, Trevor. What the fuck? Hey, one. What's wrong with peanut ice cream? Two. What's wrong with strawberry ice cream? Motherfucking Trevor. What the hell is his deal? Ah. Uh, I don't like Trevor. <laughs> Anyways, uh, puzzle five. We got uh, red lasers, uh, buttons. Here's a laser bit here. Uh, okay, we got eyes on that. Oh, uh, can we get that? Hey, just barely. Magic of ninety degree angles. Ah, uh, wait, whoa, 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 wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um. Wait, what did that do? Oh, all right, all right, I see, I see, I see. Get access to a second laser bit. 
um, which probably means this is no longer important. Although, it's a red laser, and we need a red laser for the, uh, the Pandora laser bit, right? Sure we're not. You know what? We've got a free laser bit here. Let's see. Oh, I heard a blip. Oh! Was that up there? Was that blue? That's blue. What am I gonna do with blue? Ah, oh, okay. Um. Hmm. Like, I mean, I've never had peanut ice cream either, I don't think. Um. But I am much more a fan of savory over sweet. And I think, like, a, a, a nutty taste is probably closer to savory than sweet, so I think I would probably enjoy it. That's my logic, anyways. Um. Oh, shit. Okay, so there's a blue laser receptacle up there on the main tower. So that improves our options. Peanut butter ice cream. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that I, I would think, like, normal-ass peanut ice cream would be pretty close to that, right? You would think? And, you know, I, li I like peanut butter a lot. In fact, I like normal-ass peanuts, too. It's, it's a good legume. So I can imagine, like, peanut ice cream being pretty tasty. And not worthy of fucking dumbass Trevor's scorn there. What a shit. What a little shit. I don't know about pistachio, though. Pistachio, like... Pistachio as a nut has never struck me as eminently eatable. Although I haven't really had a lot of pistachios. Maybe they're fine. But, I don't know. It's just not... It's not my... <laughs> Please don't clip this. It's it's not my go-to nut. <laughs> pistachios. Um, but... You know, I guess they exist and people like them, and that's probably good enough. Um, what are we doing here? We got lasers, right? We've got lasers, but then we'd be dropping them into this little back area, and I'm not quite sure what to do with this. Because if I if I drop these out, right? We can always get them back, but like, what's the deal here? We can't really do much about this. And I think I might have just torpedoed this entire thing. <laughs> Good. I'm glad it reads as such a softball that you're not going to take advantage of. That's great. I, that's good to hear. You've got standards, which is good. Which is good. Um, I don't think I can move the platform back because the red source is over here. Uh, oh, wait, I could have. Probably. Alright, well, either way, it's probably deserving of a, of a restart. No matter what. It's fine. We know we can, uh, can do it real quick-like, right? Uh, boop, 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 boop. So we need, oh, I see, we need both of the laser bits here to hold this open to... Yeah, yeah. Oh, we could easily reconnect it, huh? <laughs> uh, we need to do this first to get the second laser bit, which, um... I'm kind of a little weirded out by, I guess? Oh, let me grab that. Excuse me. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 don't. Oh, that's the gimmick, huh? How, how are we gonna... Well, maybe we just do this, right? Keep it active. Ah, oh, all right. Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. See, look at that. Da, 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 da. Oh. Eh. And then kind of spread this out over here. Give it the maximum time. Yeah. There we go. That was the gimmick. That was it. <laughs> Glad we overcomplicated that again. Or no, sorry. Glad I overcomplicated that again. Um, but, okay, but it did also reveal the presence of, shit, where was that? Oh, all the way at the top there. 
uh, that blue laser receptacle up there. What was the, even the name of this puzzle? That probably would have been a giveaway to Bridging the Gap. Ah, that wasn't that clear. Alright, and that was number five, I guess. Oh, there's another question mark thing. There's another glowy hand bit? Lifter's ear, huh? Okay. Well, wasn't Lifter's ear number 13, right? That was his deal? He was one of the first companions? Totally not a reference to fossils. A perfect silence. <clears throat> this is a dead place. More dead than almost anywhere else on place. Earth. Yeah. If the ground could have a personality, it would be malevolent. But as I said before, all this in some sense does not exist at all. It does not hate us. It is simply the opposite of everything that life mm, requires. I don't agree with that assessment either. When you sit either. in the dunes and you hear only the wind and nothing else at all, and all the complexities of civilization fade away, you truly understand that spiritual peace is a great evil, a kind of shallow banality that we must always strive against um it is spiritual excitement and enthusiasm which sustain our humanity spiritual peace is a vile and cowardly surrender to oblivion man maybe i was being generous by saying i was 50 50 on lifter's ear this is turning into more like 30 70. I don't know what to make of that one. Um, number six, though. I want to solve. Let's solve a puzzle. <laughs> okay, we've got an inverter. Uh, blues, red source. Whoa, jeez. Okay. Um, hmm. And probably no way to cheese that. But we got a ladder. What's uh, what's on this side? Uh, an accumulator. Okay. Um. Ah, attached to blue. All right. Okay. Um, and another inverter here, which means that I probably just need to do something like flip, flop, bloop. Oop, can we not connect to that one? Oh, not, not yet, probably. All right, uh, so let's do that. And then I'm curious what this is gonna do. Does that hold it open for me? does. Excellent. Oh, well, wait. <laughs> Let me grab this. Ah, I see. So we can get the accumulator. Excellent. All right. Accumulator, then we can take red or blue with us. Or, uh, actually, wait, we can't take either of these with us. We're stuck here. Well, we're not, we're not stuck here, but these two bits are stuck here. Um, let's make it blue, I guess. Oh, no, 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 I'm not stuck here. Dummy. Um, I can, uh... Oh, crap. I should have kept it locked onto that thing. I think I need to reset this anyways. Ah! Come on, activate super robo speed here. Get it! <laughs> I can't target this through the gate, right? Um, let's see, let's see. Can I? Oh, I can, okay. I, like, it's confusing to me which things I can target through and which things I can't. I guess it's just the force fields that you cannot do a thing with, right? And I don't need that other thing retargeted, I don't think, so let's just do this. All right. There we go. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake, and then the accumulator's in the way. Come on, man. Help a bro out. There we go. Okay, everything's good. So now, do we need the accumulator to be blue or red? Does it matter? Because is this just the opener to it? Oh, well, that's anticlimactic. Hmm. 
but we've got blue. Are we on the appropriate side of this? Byron is a rare blessing. Oh yeah, blessing, sure. Okay, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. I wouldn't say Byron in particular is a blessing, but that mode of thinking is a blessing. That he was wrong. And the megastructure is a threat to all of us. Yeah. But without people like him... I'm not sure New Jerusalem is worth saving. Mm, I don't know if I agree with the bulk of that there, Alcatraz, but I do agree with the core of it. People like Byron are fine and good. Byron in particular, mm, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, okay, no, we are not on the correct side of this tower, I don't think. That was what? what? What side of the tower was that? That was the, um... Uh, the only overhead map we've got is from, the <laughs> Byron adjacent. Yeah, you know, Byron-like, you know? Something like that. Uh, I think the laser receptacle was on the north side of the tower pointing at the travel bit, right? Ah, uh, so it's, it's like right up there, so we don't have an angle on it. Okay. Well, uh, puzzle six we'll remember just in case. Uh, alright, on to seven then. Above. Okay. Alright, we got a fan, permanent attached, permanent on. Um, I heard something. Oh, I see. Okay, platforms moving back and forth. <clears throat> Two of them. One on either side. Um, curious little water bits back here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Okay. All right, so down below is uh, no value. Okay, but up above we've got a button, another fan, um, an inverter with a, okay, a red source over there. What does this button do? That probably turns on the fan, yeah? Okay, well, let's see what's up there first. Whoa, ah, a tunnel bit, okay. Um... Oh, I see. Okay, all the way there. Okay, yeah, I see the blue laser receptacle over there. Um, which means we'll probably need to get that inverter up here somehow. Uh, and I doubt very severely that we can target that wall from- Oh no, never mind, I'm an idiot. Alright, let's do that here, and drop that there, take this up here, and then bonk, 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 oh, but we can't, oh, I see, we cannot target that red source from here, or we can't get the red from here, that's interesting. So this might act as a relay point instead of uh, the actual inverter beam up here. You know what? Okay, that's fine. Um, I, you know what? That's fine. Let's leave that here for now. Uh, there might be a, like a normal laser bit over there. There isn't, but there is a fan. Oh, and a normal laser bit here. Okay. Um, that's fine and good, I suppose. Hmm. I mean, I can put the normal laser bit over here, which I guess works, but... The only way I'm getting red out of that is from there, right? So 
I would need to be like, I guess I would need to target it from here. Can I just barely? Yeah, I need to do this. Be like, hey, let's put this here, I suppose. When that moves back, will it be enough? No, of course not. That would be silly. I can't step my own ass through there, even though it's a gigantic asshole. <laughs> um, we can't, like, bend over and just walk through. No, that would be dumb. Um, okay. But it also makes me think we need uh, both the button depressed and uh, the blue laser thing there. In order for this to work. Uh, well, which might mean... That we just need normal ass red up here. I guess we can... Hmm. Well, we can swipe the tunnel bit now, right? And we could probably do it from here. Okay, let's do that. Let's swipe the tunnel bit, because we don't really need it over here. Ugh. We don't really need it over here. Thing. We can target the thing from up there. And then that means we can probably grab that. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to reset that. That's right. Probably, oops, probably do that here. And now we've got the button there, and then... Uh, and then what, though? Um... There's no, I mean, I guess technically speaking, we can just barely target it through here. I could probably move that back a little bit. Be like right there. Uh, I don't know if that's back far enough though. Can we move it, like, super back to here? No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, no, I don't think it quite works like this. Well, can we, though? Maybe that would still be all right. Let's see. No, that's still, like, very much blocked off. Okay, so either I need it just kind of like a little bit further forward. There we go. Is that enough? Looks like it was lit, lit up like that, so all right. Let's try that. Now, is that enough for it to let me in, though? Uh, just very barely will it let me through. I pressed my face against this for a bit. Yeah, oh, yeah, I guess. Okay. All right. I guess that works well enough. Oh, Melville, don't Melville, don't you be the new Byron, right? With the backhanded compliments, don't do that. You're better than that. Um, but all right, so now are we on the correct side of the tower here? Because we've got a, well, sort of, blue laser source. Uh, no, I think we're on the exact opposite side. Yeah, no, it's, it's on that side. Okay. Um, which leaves us one normal puzzle left, number eight. And then we can go collect the, uh, the Sphinx Star, and then try to figure out the Pandora Star. Alright, we got red and blue. Red receptacle there. Oh, and a rotating bit. Great, my favorite. 
Um... I see. I see. Um... Hmm. Okay, so all we've got is a red bit to hold this open. And a blue bit here for that. Um, okay. Oh, and there's another laser bit here. I see. Okay. Um... So now, if we rotate this, right? Red to red to here, I guess. I guess it doesn't matter, because once it rotates, it's fine. Uh, okay, then, anticipating that, I'm gonna go blue to blue here. Is that enough to do that? Oh, but it's not enough to... Wait, I need to rotate this. Uh, which way? Counterclockwise. Okay. But, uh, but then what? <laughs> I guess that gets me free to do whatever the fuck. Um... Because I still need that to be blue. That's the deal here. So we, we've got one free now. <clears throat> So what happens here? What do I need to be what? I need this to be lit up with blue. Um, and I also need to rotate this. Either clockwise to or counterclockwise to, right? If I do counterclockwise to, This window would be open. So we would need plop and probably... Oh, wait, where is that? Oh, probably just to this, huh? So just do that, run in. Oh, that didn't do the thing I wanted it to. Okay, so now I rotate it, right? So if I rotate it... Let's think about this. If I... Oh, no, no, I just need to rotate it counterclockwise once. It moves the window over there, it should still be active blue, and this thing is still connected there, right? Counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Oh. Why is that not... What? Sir. Alright, well, we can just undo it, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. There. <laughs> ah, no! Do that quickly. Ah, you little fucking shit. Alright, alright. It's like right here. Get! <laughs> um. Come on, man. Don't do this to me like this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then counterclockwise, right? There. Perfect. First try. Uh, irrelevant. Rather than Costco, I apparently send a. An 83.3 pound wheel of Parmigiano Reggiano for $1,400? Holy shit! Or a thousand bucks US. Um. 83.3 pounds, huh? Pardon me whilst I tab out to a calculator and do uh, a little math here. Uh, oops. That can't be right. Dollars per pound. Okay, $12 a pound. That's really expensive. That's not worth it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Like, I love me some fucking... What is it? What kind is it? Parmigiano Reggiano. Like, I love me some of that, but 12 bucks a pound is too much. Too fucking much, man. Don't do it. It's a scam. And that's like $12 US a pound. Uh, Canadian is different, obviously, right? Uh, what, what did you say? 1400 Canadian. My goodness. 
you know, 16.8 Canadian dollars a pound. Absolutely not. Do not do. Bad deal. No deal. Close that fucking case. Tell uh, what's his nuts to fuck off. Who hosted Deal or No Deal? Whoever that was. Tell tell that guy to fuck off. Um. That was puzzle eight, right? Yeah. So that's all the normal puzzles. And we got a new social thing. Oh good, Fred is fucking panicking. We're all gonna die. Um, look what happened to Miranda. Father's no not a mega structure's gonna kill us all. Oh my god, Fred. Settle down. Howie Mandel, thank you. I was thinking of another different person that kind of looked like him that I was hoping was not that person. That's Howie Mandel. Okay, that's fine. Tell Howie to fuck off. That's that's too much for that cheese. Um, get, yeah, okay. Thank you, Ernie. Get a grip. It's absurd and disrespectful. Yeah, she's dead. They're probably dead, too. We're all dead if that thing blows up. It could collapse the whole world into singularity. Yeah, well, the fucking Large Hadron Collider could have done that, too, but it hasn't. Uh, you're just gonna call- oh, maybe, or maybe it has, who knows? Like, how would we know? Uh, you should really calm down, Fred. Hell yeah. Voice of reason. Uh, there's a legitimate point buried in what you're saying, but panicking isn't gonna help. No reason to be concerned. Found 1K's arguments quite convincing so far. Aw, oh, Levistros, thank you. Uh, every step forward in human history has come with its mistakes and sacrifices, but we can always learn from them. None of you understand, we have to listen to Pandora or we will burn- Fred, like, first of all, find your caps lock and turn it off. Um... <laughs> And then Helga, why don't you come by my shop, my shop of bullshit, and let's have a chat. Um, okay, you know what? Helga's probably got the right idea, and Fred would probably totally be into that stuff, so, uh, you know, we'll let that resolve itself. Um, okay, that's everything, that's all the puzzles. Normal and lost, we just need to collect that Sphinx Star, and also, um, Find a blue laser to shoot at the tower now, since we know that exists. Uh, all right, where the hell is the elevator out of this place? Uh, over here, right? I think it was visible. It was visible from wherever we were, and it was near the travel bit, right? So over this side. Ah, there, there it is. Yeah, well, hopefully Fred's got enough itchy and scratchy dollars to afford what Helga's selling, right? That's the whole deal there. Uh, who is this? Do you have something to say? It is Alcatraz, and he's got nothing. All right, thanks for nothing, Al. Uh, okay, we've got Anne Star to collect. Where was the... Oh, it wasn't on this side, huh? Figure out which side of that tower had the blue receptacle thing. It was, it wasn't maybe obvious, obvious, but now that we know it's up there, it should be pretty visible, right? If the answers of philosophy are true, why has no philosopher changed the world? I mean, you could argue that several philosophers have changed the world, just not within their own times. I mean, I wouldn't argue that, but you could argue side either? Where the fuck was that thing? I couldn't afford her inner piece. Well, wasn't it like 10,000 itchy and scratchy dollars though? Like, that's a lot of money, of fake money for inner piece. Is it on this side? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, what's all on this side? Oh, oh no. Is this a depressing one or an uplifting one? She's remarkable, isn't she? She sees uh, so much. It's an uplifting one me. before Miranda she died. Is. You're right. But I'm not sure she doesn't see too much beauty. Is it wrong to be delighted by the perfection of the universe? No. To look at what surrounds us and experience awe oh, instead of just No, but that's fear. not what Cornelius was implying, no, Athena. Perfection ah, kind of see? There you go. There's the reasonable have. take on it. The universe is cold, Athena. It doesn't care about us or about life. The universe is apathetic, which is kind of worse than hating us. But 
Miranda seems to think it's almost uh, benevolent, mm. purposeful. Mm. You're right. But have you considered that maybe she sees something we can't see? Maybe. A step ahead? You know, Cornelius, if we succeed, the next generation will not be like us. They might see the world in ways we never could have imagined. Maybe she's the first sign of that. I hope so. I really do, Athena. You know that I love her, and I am perpetually amazed that this being we created that came solely from our minds is so profoundly different and unique. That does strike me as a kind of miracle. But it's also a huge responsibility. And I worry about our choices. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. See, Cornelius knows. He knows. He's the realist. He's the realist of the pair there. Athena is definitely the idealist, and he's the realist. Which, you know, that's fine. Whatever. Perspectives and all that. Um... Okay, so blue on this side, huh? Uh, did number two have a blue laser? And if it does, can we target it to out here? Hmm, I guess the answer is no. Okay, there is a blue laser. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we can. Okay, what's this gonna do? What's that gonna do? Oh, I see. I think it uh, popped a thing up there. Which, um... I guess is helpful. Which color is that? <laughs> Uh, if it's blue, we need to invert it. If it's red, we can just find another normal laser bit to relay it to somewhere else. It's definitely a, a laser thing. Um, where was the, the, the Pandora laser thing located, though? Is it in range of whatever that is? And whatever else we need to use to relay it. Where the f was it? Why isn't it on my compass? Or is it? Oh, okay, it's over there. It's way the f over there. Um, is it way the f over there, though? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's right over. No, that's the Sphinx. Where the fuck's the other one? Alright, well, I'm gonna take a run around the perimeter. Oh, here. It's over here. Um, yeah, okay, that's pretty much directly in range of it. That's fine and good, but how... how we do? How we do? Do we have a... Is there a thing in number three? No, because number three had none of the lasers, right? It was just fans and teleports and shit, right? Uh, where did that disappear to? Oh, it's way the fuck up there. They could have given us a more effective zoom. We're robots in the future. We're human robots in the future. Why do we not have fucking telephoto eyeballs? Why do we even have eyeballs as human robots in the future, honestly? It seems inefficient. Yeah, it's all the way the fuck up there. That might not be a direct solution, then. There might be one more hop we have to make here. But, if that is the case, there is... I mean, let's let's walk all the way up here. It doesn't automatically like, do this thing now, right? No, there's no, like, guiding line away from it onto that thing now. So there's something else we gotta do. Pretty sure it's not in number three, but we can give it a try. Go take a look. Probably not in the book. God, I missed that show. Reading Rainbow was such a great show growing up. Fucking LeVar Burton. Good dude. Good dude. Uh, yeah, so this was number three. No lasers. Not, not even a normal laser bit. something else. There's like another 
another relay bit we gotta do somehow. Um, but with that set up, like, what are the other ones on the surface here? Number four had lasers, I think. But that's totally on the opposite side. We won't be able to target it. Um... What was the one down below? There, that one. Which one was that? Eight, I guess, right? With the, the double bridge thing? Uh, I don't think that's line of sight. Even if it were, we could point red up there, but then we would still need one other thing to pull red from there and put it to the uh, to Pandora, right? Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I thought I just barely saw... Oh, there! There is a little guiding line thing. They really need to make those stand out more. I'm sorry, not all of us are running 8K fucking 240 hertz everything to support this, but they need to make those stand out more. Where's that pointing down to? Oh, that's... Oh, oh, shit. That's my fucking blue laser from before. Damn it. Yeah, see, that could have been more clear from further away. Ugh. Alright, so it's on this side of the tower, then. Oh, uh, Yakut, you got more to say? What's up? 1K, what's up? Th that's what I... No, that's what I'm asking you. Okay, yeah. Are, are you okay? <laughs> are you 1K? <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm 1K. Still feeling a bit shaken by Miranda's death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's okay to talk about it. Thanks, 1K. Maybe in a while. Alright. I'm still processing. Very good. Well, alright. Then pop your little quest indicator when you're uh, ready to talk about it, I guess. Um... Alright, so it's like from here. I've gotta feed it with red from something, right? But there's nothing down below that can target that, I don't think. Unless. Let's go back to Puzzle League. Because that's the one with the, the red source on it, right? I think that's the only one with a red source on it down below. And there might have been a red source up here somewhere, but... Very much kind of questioning that now. Um, and there was the... Okay, what was this? This is number three. Right, that one didn't hit. Oh, uh, sorry, Alcatraz, sorry. Um, yeah. Let's head down below for a bit. I don't want to just jump off of there all foolhardy and hope that it lets us survive, because that might reset our shooting of blue from number two into the tower there, so I don't want to have to redo that. And I guess while we're here at number four... No, because that's the Sphinx one. I wish they erased that off the compass once we got it. The other one is way... The over there, right? Somewhere opposite side of where we can actually target the thing from, right? Okay. Hmm. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, I guess we could solve the bridge puzzle and see what that what, if anything, this gains us towards the other one, right? And these haven't been terribly difficult in the past either, have they? Hmm. I mean, that's, that would work! It fits! What's wrong with that? It fits! Stupid piece shape is that. 
stupid Z piece. All right, let's back it up. This one, I guess. Now oh, there, okay. One of these is gonna be like a super dense pack it in. Yeah, it's sort of like that, I guess. All right, well, that's the actual tower, but I don't want to do that yet. Just wanted to see if this... Okay, and that's the blue we're shooting for number two. Yeah, 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 okay. Let's see if this might have unlocked something else, but I don't think it did. Okay, nope. All right, make the original plan, then let's head back down below. Is there an angle down here? What, which we can see the new little laser relay bit that we popped up there. I don't think there is. Uh, okay, so it's on that corner side-ish thing there. Uh, yeah, like way the fuck up there. There's no way it can be from something down here. Yeah, unless we've got a very hidden red source along the inner perimeter here, which I guess I wouldn't put it past them doing that. It'd be weird, but I it, it might might be a thing. Although, is the inner perimeter wide enough that we can even get line of sight? Not really, no, because it's up there, and we don't have any fucking bead on it. All right. What was this? This looks kind of interesting. Let's up with this all this stuff down here. Oh, okay, maybe not anything. Unless there's like a hidden ghosty bit that we can reveal. No, okay. And then I guess the only laser source would be number... Isn't this number eight? Yeah, this must be number eight. Or number seven, I suppose. Because there's no other relay bits up here. We can't target this from any of the other puzzles up up top there, top side. And all we've got really is that red source there, which seems unlikely. All right, so never mind that. Head back top side. Or try to. It was near the travel bit, right? Where the fuck was that now? I think it was the opposite side of this one. Visible. Oh, yeah, here it was near the gate. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so then, um, on the exact opposite side of where we're at. But what is, what's over there? Three, we already know has nothing. That'd mean one of the other ones, unless it's also two? I could, in theory, I suppose, both red and blue could have come from number two here, right? I guess we do have line of sight. Um, was there a red source in number two though? Or an inverter? And even if we do that, like, then what? We would still need another normal-ass laser bit to relay it, right? Let's 
seeing is blue here. Oh, there is a red source. Okay. Um, if we remove this... Oh, well, we don't have line of sight anyways, but if we remove this, does it go away? It does. Okay. Um, well then... Was there a... Was there a second laser bit here? There was, right? Because there's no... Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. But, um... Even if we did this... Where was the red source? Where was the red source? Okay, I know I'm not losing my mind. Where was that? Okay, I am losing my mind. There, okay. It's over there. Do we have enough? Because we could... I mean, this is really the only spot that we could use this, right? Because otherwise we would need... both laser bits to kind of relay it this way. Was there a third laser bit? There wasn't, right? It was just the two of them? And with just the one, I don't think we have line of sight to it, right? So all we've got really is this. And I don't think we can elevate it anyway. Because there we've got, well, not really there. Uh, it would have to be like right here. Hmm. Okay, so I don't think then it comes from number two. Or if it does, this would be the source for red, and we would shoot a different source of blue here. But, uh, I don't want to do that just yet. Okay, let's go look for, I guess, either another source of red or blue. Um, probably blue specifically. So that's probably the most reachable one. Like, the other opportunities for it are pretty slim. Like what was this over here? This was nothing, right? That was, oh right, that was Stratton doing whatever. Did number one have a source of blue? That would be the only, and I think that's the only topside puzzle that has line of sight to anything. It's only one and two, three had no lasers to speak of, four was, I don't even remember where four was. Well, let's see, number one might have just the most oblique fucking angle on this. Has, okay, it has blue. Somewhere. Oh, and it has an inverter as well. Okay. Um. Yeah, but we don't have any fucking line of sight over there. Right? Because it would have to be way the... Well, okay. 
got just like barely the the smallest peak of fucking the thing here. All right, here's normal ass thing. Here's red and a combo bit. That might be enough. Need this inverter. Um, because we don't have eyes on red. But we do have eyes on blue. Be like this. Oops. No, 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 no! Ah! Fine, we'll go around the horn this way. Okay, there we go. It's eyes on red to blue, right? And then this gets out to... Let's see. Uh, oh man, where would we even be able to do this? Uh, we'd have to, it would have to be here. Can we even do it that way? Does this combo bit act as, like, maybe an extendo source? I think it does, right? No, no, it doesn't. Boo! Um, well... Red? Blue, and clearly we combine them to green to solve this puzzle, right? How the fuck did we do that? <laughs> How the fuck did we do that? Um... <clears throat> Okay, let me, let me do it this way. Because this doesn't act as... Yeah, that... No, the combo bit doesn't act as a source. And we can't, like... Alright, hold on a second. We've got this, right? We can do... Does this technically count? That's technically connected. Are you... you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's dumb. That's... Okay, I don't agree with that. But okay, I mean, it says it's going out there, right? Yep, okay. And we just gotta change Puzzle 2 to red. I... I don't like that. I really don't like that. That's pretty stupid. It's clear that you do not have, like, human, perceptually visual line of sight on that. So I don't agree with them allowing you to do that. And I, if that's the intended way to do it, I doubly do not agree with it. It very well might not be the intended way to do it, but... If it is, I don't like it. Um, so now we should be able to do... Alright, let's do that, and bonk, bonk. And I guess. Okay, so that gets us red up there. I suppose. Right? Yeah, okay, so now we've got red up there. But then what? But then fucking what? Where's the actual uh, Pandora thing, though? I feel like it's on this side closest line of sight we've got there, right? And it doesn't automatically relay it. We would have seen the little guiding line for it. No, it's not on the side. Where the fuck is it? Maybe all the way over here? Oh yeah, over there. So then what? Is there just like a fucking freestanding laser bit? somewhere let's go check the thing itself I guess maybe they they put it over the next dune or something who knows Be pretty annoyed if that's actually the case though well okay but yeah clear well as clear as it can be 
a clear line of sight from here. But fucking then what? Is there a is there a freestanding laser bit in Stratton's little perch over here? I didn't examine it that closely, but This turns into hunt down a fucking freestanding laser bit. I'm gonna be a little annoyed. But based on how the puzzles are laid out here, I don't think there's another option. And it's not like it's without precedent, right? Because the previous section I think had the the freestanding combo bit to use, right? But that was pretty nearby. It was pretty obvious where it was. Well, not obvious necessarily, but it it made sense as to where it was. And this is just like there's no other landmarks to go towards. Well, I can think of one other. There was one other on the other side that looked a little suspicious. But I feel like that was another glowy hand bit that we've already done. Or, oh no, it was a, a hidden puzzle. Right, one of the lost bits, but... Yeah, and I can't imagine... Oh, man, so where is that? It's right up there. And we don't have line of sight from here, right? I mean, unless there's a freestanding laser bit outside. Or we can sneak a laser bit out of it? Maybe we can do that. Did it even have laser bits? It must, because there's a red source there. I don't think there was anything particularly usable here. I mean, aside from the, the gravity bits, but even then. Even that's a bit of a stretch, because there's no, like, topside one we can use. Sneak it over a wall or something. Right? Yeah, it's pretty well guarded. Okay, no, I don't think that's the case. That, well? No. No. Well, hold on. Unless there's a way we can... Yeah, we can climb up here, but that doesn't mean nothing. Uh, there's definitely no way we can hoist ourselves up on this wall. It's at shoulder height or above. There's no way we can reach all the way up there. Um, yeah, none of this seems accessible. And this would seem to be, like, maybe a step too far for this particular one. We're not even on the final grouping of sections. This would not be the way to do it. So there's something else. There's something else to it. I mean, I guess there was kind of a way to crawl about in number three, but there were no laser bits there. It had a teleporter. Can we sneak a teleporter out of, uh, out of number three? Give it a try. We're thinking about other things. Hmm. Because it did let us go up a little bit, right? Were there any 
And there's there's boxes, right? There's cubes. Oh, we've got Cheeky. Fucking cheeky. When in the fucking Oh. Oh. Where did this come from? Oh, it's powered by the completion of the puzzle. Oh, you cheeky fuckers. Okay. Oh, no. Do we have line of sight, though, to both of these? We must. This kid's got to be it. Because there's no way they would put... There is no way they would put a freestanding laser bit in a completed puzzle without it being a thing, right? There's no way. Yeah, look at that. Bonk. And all the way to go over there. Oh, oh you cheeky fuckers. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. All right. In the world. Well, it's a good thing I fucking looked. Cause that would have been a long time before we headed back that way. <sighs> okay. Well, there's the star. So now, there is no tower. Tool, but he's not also a weapon. Yeah, true. And no human that would not wield it as one. Uh, I... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you there, Pandora. Um, but all right. So tower, which will be the green murder beam. Oh, is that the? Is this the last one in the big section here? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can go fuck around in the in the murder pyramid. Presumably. Like, if, if the previous two sections are any indication, right? Um, where was the arch thing? It's over there. And that'll probably be a pretty clean time to stop it for tonight, too, since we're approaching two hours. And usually it takes a few minutes of fucking around in the murder pyramid. So we're, we're in good position here, I think. And then we can start on the next... The next and presumably last grouping of three sections next week. Which will also be good. Fresh. Fresh and clean for more puzzles next week. Alright, who's gonna be the one here? Oh, the Sphinx again. Great, can't wait. Prometheus was bound for many years. His torment seemingly eternal. Uh huh. Until one day. Zeus commanded his son, the great hero Heracles, to free the Titan from the rock. I'm already Why suspicious of Zeus. Zeus. Zeus knew that his son needed Prometheus' help. Has he recognized that he had been wrong? <laughs> We're talking about the same Zeus, right? That's no way. Uh, because no one's punishment should be eternal. Zeus is a self-centered some bitch. So, uh, he wanted his son to have help. In Zeus's case, yes. <laughs> In the general case, not necessarily. From Zeus's perspective, absolutely. Um. Yeah, except we don't have that fourth option of saying Zeus is a utter fucking tool. Um. Hmm. What was the question? It's helping those you love more important than justice. I mean, I I kind of hate the wishy-washy third answer here, but that's the that's the one that makes the most sense to me. Justice is vague. People are real. A foolish answer, <laughs> honest and unconsidered. Well, at least it's honest. You find the wisdom in it. A time of dreams is at hand, creature of clay. Oh, to I could be taken your many ways. You must do as Heracles did. But what will uh follow? None can see. I I wouldn't say Byron's my friend. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up a second. Okay, what, what would I say? Green, right? That's the last murder beam for this section? Yeah, okay. Well, at least this part is consistent. The mega structure is opening again. All right, everyone. Assemble at the VTOL as soon as possible. Yeah, Alcatraz way ahead of you. Keep an eye on the energy readings, please. Way ahead of you. On my way back. And we did everything here, right? I know we're under, like, no time pressure, but... Yeah, I think we got everything. 
except the gate, which presumably does not open until we have all the stars. Um. All right, let's go. Yeah, turn on the mega structure, please. Thank you. You all know I don't share Byron's enthusiasm for the. Yeah, mega that's been clear, Alcatraz. I don't know if the founder really intended for us to be here, and I certainly don't trust this Prometheus. All right. Well, what do but you Byron do? Is one of us. Okay. We don't leave people behind. All right. That's so we're finding good. Prometheus and freeing him, whether Pandora likes it or not. Yeah. Fuck Pandora. So is going to go. One K. It's clear to me that you have some kind of special affinity. For okay. This just because I like puzzles, all right? Respond to you more strongly than they do to well, us. Well, yeah. So once you're inside. I want you to take point. Do whatever you need to free Prometheus, but remember that our prime objective is to save our friend. Melville, I want you to stay at the VTOL and let Yakut and 1K go in. I'm going hmm. to stay behind as protocol requires. I don't love the idea of sitting this one out. Uh huh, but I'm a big ass coward anyway, so I'm going to stay behind. Oh boy. Like, Melville is already staying behind, so we've already got somebody at the VTOL. Alcatraz, you could totally go in with me. What a fucking coward. Whatever. I guess while we're here, let's deposit our stars. I don't like carrying those around with me. Takes a second to get over here. All right, three quarters of the way there. Presumably, because one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six more. Getting there. We can find the big guy. Uh, wait, are we just gonna let? Oh, he's staying like entirely, entirely behind. Wow, massive coward. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, we're m leaving somebody behind. <laughs> yeah, of course it's Alcatraz. Fucking wow. Like, I don't think this is a sound plan. They're sending us in to take point in the murder pyramid when we're like the one solving all the puzzles. I think we should probably be the ones staying behind. Oh boy. And then they're sending our pilot in with me as well. So, uh, what the fuck is Melville gonna do if shit goes south? <laughs> oh boy. Well, all right, Yakut. You know what? I'm gonna let you run in first, just in case. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead of you, because you're slow. Hmm. Stathius to Athena. I don't know if you'll see this. They've become even more distant from the affairs of New Jerusalem than I have. Blah, blah, blah. I'm speaking to you and Cornelius. I fear that some of your estrangement is my own fault. I mean, not really. Now that we know that Miranda is dead, that's that kind of puts a new spin on this. <clears throat> I know things are not as hedgy as you had wished them to be, and the city is drifting away from the bold vision you established. That's not because of your leadership or lack thereof. You did not fail. 
I know I've said it before, the Alexandria disaster is my fault, right? Who said that before? Yakut. Yakut blames you, Stathius, right? For New, New Alexandria? I'm the one who took the initiative, I'm the one who made the mistake. Should have been procedures in place, but it's my role to create such a procedure, no, 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 not to you. She had listened to Byron when he said we had to establish another settlement immediately. I learned from the pain, don't let it fester. Okay, that's pretty profound, actually. Uh, he was right, that's where the rot set in. Sorry. Oh, poor you, Stathius. <clears throat> Athena. Author's note to Athena Reborn, a novel. Author's note to Athena Reborn. I remember because that's something to you if Athena had any kind of impact, yada, 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 yada. Every breath that I take, and so every story that I write is only possible because of technology. There are no natural remedies, no spiritual alternatives for what I was born with. It's wholly contingent upon a level of technological sophistication. Um, oh, no actual author to this, just anonymous, huh? Uh, blah, 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 blah. When you long for a return to simpler times, you wish for a world in which I could not exist. I mean, that's wishing for a world in which many people do not exist, right? Um, you're looking for answers, consider the fact that I was granted the blessing of this technology despite being born in poverty and my writing never having been particularly lucrative. Civilizational structures I live within were arranged in such a way that this technology would be deployed to save my life. Uh, think about what this means. What is it? Systemic compassion? Is it liberation of nature? Is it equality of opportunity? Whatever your belief system, I think hard about what it means to me that I am alive because of these machines and I've created something that matters to you. Okay. Clockwork. Orthodoxy by G.K. Chesterton. Towering materialism which dominates the modern mind. Oh boy, they got our number. Uh, rests ultimately upon one assumption, a false assumption. It's piece uh, supposed that if a thing goes on repeating itself, it is probably dead. A piece of clockwork. If, well, and or there are scientists trying to repeat their findings, right? Uh, people feel that if a universe is personal, it would vary. If the sun were alive, it would dance. So this is fallacy even in relation to the known fact for the variation in human affairs. Yada, 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 yada. Man varies his movements because of some slight element of failure or fatigue. Well, yeah, a little bit. Has God strong enough to exalt in monotony? It is possible that God says every morning, do it again to the sun, and every evening, do it again to the moon. Uh, it may not be automatic necessity. It makes all days alike, and maybe they do it separately. Yada, yada, yada. When we've sinned and grown old, and our father is younger than we. Yeah, it's delightful, but it's also completely and obviously untrue. All right, thank you, Miranda. From beyond the grave. <clears throat> One of many reasons Chesterton is worth reading. He's wrong about a lot of things, but he's wrong about them in an interesting way. <laughs> I suppose if you're going to be wrong about something, it may as well be interesting, right? Probably something to take from that. Uh, Patience Journal number 10. New Jerusalem, that's the name we picked. I mean, it's sad that might suggest it went me a little, but it's a good name, a fitting name, a name that we can be proud of. Uh, sure. Uh, with it comes a new kind of optimism. Everyone is thinking of the future once more. I'm glad we've covered our equilibrium and our determination. Bustling with plans and bright visions of the future. Hard not to be drawn in by the pretty pictures they paint. Yeah, okay. Speaking of which, I'm becoming more and more fascinated with ancient human art. Yada, 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 citizens of Gehenna found meaning in art and they were imprisoned. The free people should be able to accomplish so much more. Right? Yeah, I more or less agree with that. Oh, goodness. Excuse me. Hmm. Getting late. Uh, okay. Yakut's doing a scan over there. What do you got, man? What do you got? It's an elevator. Uh... I will not step into that at present. Let's go through this door. It's very unelevated door first. Oh, but this is feeling critical path. You know what? Never mind. I am gonna step into that elevator. Oh, or maybe I won't. Oh, because it's closed. There's a very not terribly visible glass thing I'm closing it. Okay. Probably gonna have to open that first, huh? Oh, that's the door out. It's like, wait a minute, who put another VTOL in here? Nobody, that's ours. Okay, yeah. The, the glowy side of things, right? Uh, and that's the one with the glowy hand thing, and then, okay, here's the critical path. Sign, floating anti-gravity cubes. Yay! I found.
found another elevator. Yeah, I was just there, you <laughs> I was literally just there. How did you get in it, though? It looked like it was closed off. Or maybe he didn't Once take again, the elevator. No oh, no, he took the elevator. No sign of Prometheus so far. Hope you're doing better, 1K. I mean, I'm gonna big ass interior area. So, yes. Oh, dear. Okay. I know I've said this before, but look at the size of this. How can all of this be one machine? Mm -hmm. This is what you get when one machine builds a bigger machine, which builds an even bigger machine. That's our whole history, isn't it? The whole history of humankind. More or less. It's not just machines. <clears throat> it's science, it's literature. Knowledge builds on knowledge. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, Alright, really like their elevators. At least it's not stairs. Oh, well, Prometheus literally chained. Okay, well, that seems awfully wasteful to build a structure like that. Be careful, 1K. We don't know what's down there. A lot of stone. A lot of air. Empty space. Ah, I see. <clears throat> so we have to unchain Prometheus, which we can't do. Oh, I get. I get. This is probably the, the 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 one thing that we need to pull after fixing all the other bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all of the all of the ones in sequence right away, right? And such luck this time. Is it just gonna be Tetris bridges from here on Oh, hey you too. Just Tetris bridges from here on out for the puzzles, or uh, be doing something actually cool here. here okay. Yeah, well, because I got no arm strength apparently. Uh, hard, right? They're not that hard. They just take a a little thinking, Yaku. Don't worry, you'll be fine. In fact, if you want to describe it to me and I can tell you how to solve it, we could do that too. Or you could leave me out of it entirely. I guess that's fine. All right, so you, you get that one, buddy. I'll, I'll take this one over here. But if this has to connect over here, then, wait. If I do this, and then that, what? Oh, oopsie. Missed my jump. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, please don't checkpoint me back before, like, getting Yakut to do the thing. I think it did. Damn it. Okay, good. No, it did. Here, then, wait. If I do this, and then that, what? Don't worry about it, Yaku. The answer will come soon enough. I did it. Hey. Wow, I feel really smart. <laughs> also, never doing that again. Oh, Yaku, come on. Oh. <laughs> uh. He's right about the really smart bit, at least. Um, okay, there we go. So 
all the way up. Oh. It's got one of the weird side bits on this one. Ugh. Alright, that first. Ah, there we go. Oh, that was the puzzle? It was just... T yeah, it was just Tetris bridges and a little bit of fucking wall walking. Well, oh, it's disappointing. Why does Iku get the fun one? And we get the action-adventure platforming one, which is less fun. Two of five, huh? the one with the, the bend to it. There. I don't know. Well, I don't know if the... if these particular Tetris bits are, are worse than maybe the rotatey platforms. I didn't much care for those. They were kind of bleh. Kind of bleh. Um, but yeah, this, this part isn't the strongest either. I do wish they gave you just an easier way back to the hub of this place here, instead of just backtracking through here. This seems like wasted time. But I guess it's pretty short, so it doesn't matter, and I'm just complaining for no reason, etc, etc.
There. There's one over there. And then one up there. Let's do this one first. Ugh. Sure, that's not how normal gravity physics works, but eh, okay. Something had to be actively pulling it back, right? Maybe there was, who knows? This place is all fucky the way it is. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, okay. We've got the strength to pull those pins out. Why the fuck can't we just climb a, a basic bitch ledge? <laughs> uh. Important questions there. I wish I had an answer, really. So they put all their Uh, put all their, um, their level points into fucking whiz and int and none into fucking stir and con. Seems like bad balance to me. Alright, well, that's all of them. I would imagine that this is not going to get Byron back for us. Like, that feels like a uh, an Act 4 thing, and we're only on Act 3. That'll happen. Oh, shit. It's actually moving. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up a second. I thought he was already like weird quantum energy. How could basic bitch stone and iron keep him chained there? And mystery. Weird. It is time to put away these childish things uh. and need to know the truth of the Alpha and the Omega, of the beginning and the end. 
Mm. I will send you visions of the truth. But remember that prophecies are a heavy burden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who was it that were that was blessed with prophecy but cursed to have no one believe them? That was a like famous figure a too, right? Place. So, how did you decide to leave? I know what we're trying to accomplish here, and I believe in it. But for you, New Jerusalem was home. What changed that? It took me a long time to realize that something was wrong. Oh, I'd noticed that something was off, that something had changed since the early days, but I couldn't really put my finger on it. So I ignored it. And then one day I woke up to realize I was no longer Athena. Instead, I had been transformed into the Founder, mm. a remote figure of legend, mythologized in my own time. But if it bothered you, couldn't you just talk to them? If you share the truth with someone, they should change their huh. mind, shouldn't they? Uh, I wished it worked that way, Miranda. Should, really doing did. a lot of heavy lifting there. I barely knew the last generations. In the beginning, I was there for every birth. I explained our history, talked about our future, but it... At some point, I got so busy building that future that I lost touch. They thought of me as a remote figure because that's what I was. But can you change that? I tried, but they already saw me as the founder. The myth was too powerful, mm -hmm. and it was already taking on a life of its own. Mm -hmm. I'd set a goal of 1,000 citizens. The number was arbitrary. Just ah, see, more. I knew it. Just like I became the founder, it became the goal. Another part of the myth. And maybe that could have been all right. Myths but, are a part of who we are, but, but something uh, else there we crept go. in. The old human self-hatred. So <sighs> why didn't you just tell them to change? To go a different way? They would have listened to you. No, they would have obeyed me. Mm. Like my siblings in the simulation had obeyed. And that's when I realized I had to leave. We can show them the future, Miranda. But we can't force them to accept it. Mm, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's, uh, that's humanity. Oh, what the? I have all night or day. Afternoon meeting. After all this time, I have it. I finally have it. The mechanics of the cosmos, from quarks to galactic filaments, everything that makes the world what it is make, makes us who we are in a single equation. The key to understanding the machine that is the universe and to controlling it. A theory of everything. Uh -huh. And she was right. The language of creation is a melody and it's beautiful. Weird that her head doesn't Every cast a shadow. Is possible now. Every future. Oh, except, there. Now it does. Except one with Miranda in it. I can do anything, except bring her back, or break Cornelius's heart. Hmm. Oh, hey, we were in Act Three. <laughs> totally fucking forgot. Um. Okay. Okay. Byron was right. The founder was always a fiction. Did Byron She's say that though? Just a person. I feel like that really was not his everything. stance, but she solved it. I might be biased she against Byron. The last puzzle. You need to get out of there. We'll talk about this later. Hmm. time we thought we were honoring athena but all we did was betray everything she believed in. yeah how's it feel you coot she must have been not so great happy. huh we might as well have exiled her maybe that's what all this is about the puzzles the towers the entities it's a test a way for us to prove that we're worthy of her legacy oh no here we go Everything's a test. We're never worthy of everything. Blah, 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 blah. No, that's bullshit. Matter synthesis. Teleportation. It's not just one new technology. It's all new technologies. Ah, damn. Thought I had a good read on that one. 
manipulating the base layer of reality itself. Mm. Rearranging the building blocks of the universe. Seems ill advised. If we can gain control of the main Oh, Melville. We can do anything we want. Melville, I'm hearing oh, some hubris. Talking about our energy problems. Talking about all problems? Build anything oh, we want. We can go anywhere we want. Oh no. It's all up to us. Mm. That's what Athena wanted for us. To give us a chance to be who we want to be. Okay. That's a better way to look at it, I think. Ay, ay. Is everyone okay? All good. Yeah, no I'm thanks to you, back. Alcatraz. Coward. Meanwhile, there's been a development. Oh, good. You'll see when you land. <laughs> How are things on your end? The energy fluctuations seem to be dying down. Flying out of the murder pyramid presently. Good. Let's hope we don't regret this. Mm, a little too late for that. And these energy clouds just fly about? That seems terribly dangerous. We haven't had any problems so far. <laughs> Except for losing one of the first companions, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Waiting for that. No, I don't blame you, Al. I know what he's like. And I'm the one who agreed to all this in the first place. So That's it's your fault. I had to see it for myself. It is dreadfully imposing, though. Wait, isn't did it? Mayor Herman I actually walk out here? So Where the fuck is sinister. he? Sinister? Sinister? Look. Well, this should be. Interesting. Just because we call it the murder pyramid doesn't mean it's imposing. I guess it is pretty big. Yeah, you know. That's how that goes. Ah, 1K. Welcome back. Can I get a proper name? So you're surprised by my no, here. Now that we know Don't that worry, neither I nor my 1000 wasn't like the end way, all, right? But I decided that I need to see this place for myself. Mm -hmm. These visions sent to you by the entity that calls itself Prometheus are deeply concerning, of course. Uh -huh. We cannot take them at face value. Yeah, okay. In fact, I agree. It's crucial that we do not do so. We cannot simply abandon all that we believe. Okay, because well, that's dream. not what no you said. It... <laughs> yeah, great answers we get. So we know we're getting cut off in one word ish. Uh, actually, though. No. If the founder really built all this, then it must have a purpose. I mean, yes, I must be mostly agree. Oh, no, there's that word again. No, it's not a fucking. What are we being tested for? One, we're not I being tested. That Byron's fate shows us the dangers of temptation. Okay, well, you can believe what you'd like, but... As oh, no, don't bring up that name. The commanding her not to ascend, so Prometheus is deceiving us with his what? visions. What? Why is it all about deception? Um, yeah, I'm definitely not sure I agree with your interpretation, that's true. I'm reserving judgment for now, that's also true. I'm certain that my visions were real, I'm less certain about that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I agree. Of course, it's only natural, <clears throat> given what you've experienced. Uh-huh, and you've been told I'm fucking wrong. forthhand. Perhaps everything we believe about the Founder is indeed a lie. Mostly. But let's not be quite so pessimistic just because of a dream. Wait, who's the one being Shall pessimistic? I? You're the one, you stupid. All, can oh, it be a coincidence that you came along on this mission? Yes. It seems to me that you. Oh no! Chosen. Here we go. You are the fulfillment of the goal. Don't forget that. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Did you not like? fucking see the rest of the vision where the goal was just bullshit arbitrary round ass number honestly if we're thinking about it uh it should have been 1024 to go along with the whole you know robots and binary and whatever yeah fucking whatever uh what daft dipshit um all right i guess then we're off to section four yeah yeah everything's unlocked over there um, but, you know, that's a good spot to wrap for tonight. Mayor's a dipshit, um, as we suspected from the start. We can think about that until next time, I suppose.
Um, so that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. CST to be Shmup Book Club. Um, some more of uh, Shien Ryu or Bluish Resurrection Plus or Karis. Uh, those are all still going. Um, Friday, Saturday, we're off. Sunday, 7 p.m. CST will be more long play, so back to Assault Android Cactus, more speedruns, and Infinity Drive. And then next Monday, 7 p.m. CST, we'll be back here with the Talos Principle 2, headed into Act 4. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.